Hey guys, Leon here, and in this video today, we're gonna to be sharing with you a seven step method to removing clogged and blocked hair follicles. So guys, before we show you those seven steps, if you are worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is click the link in the description, upload a quick hair selfie, answer a few short questions, and then you're gonna get your free hair guard analysis. So what we're gonna learn about today in this video is we're gonna be looking at the seven steps to getting rid of clogged and blocked follicles. So we're gonna look at how you can choose the right shampoo. We're gonna look at the salicylic acid scalp peel. Then we're gonna look at cold showers. We're gonna talk about nutrition. Then we're gonna look at essential oils. Then nettle tea and bentonite clay hair wash. Then finally detoxing with lemon water. So first we're gonna look at selecting the right shampoo to reduce clogging of the hair follicles. Now most of the off the shelves can be quite damaging to your hair. And as consumers, we aren't informed enough about what to look for in a shampoo. So unfortunately, we usually end up choosing a shampoo with the nicest branding or one that foams nicely or one that smells nice. Now, we're gonna share with you the basics of kind of making your own hair loss shampoo. So you wanna take two tablespoons of organic apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, then two drops of tea tree oil and two drops of peppermint essential oil. Then simply mix these ingredients in a half pint glass along with some warm water, stir it and then wait for it to settle and the baking soda and apple cider vinegar should start to react. Then pour it onto wet hair inside the shower and massage it into the scalp for three minutes and then rinse it out with warm but not too hot water. Now the apple cider vinegar and baking soda are natural cleansing agents that gently clean your scalp and hair without stripping away essential oils that actually protect the skin and hair. The tea tree oil is antibacterial and antifungal, so it gently cleans away any bacteria that can cause itching and dandruff. Now the peppermint oil removes plaque, increases blood flow and soothes the scalp. You'll never want to use a commercial shampoo again after trying this. It's absolutely perfect if you suffer from any kind of hair loss. Just read the ingredients on the back of your regular shampoo bottle. All these ingredients and chemicals are designed to smell great, have a luxurious texture and a wonderful foamy feeling. But at the end of the day, they are very damaging to the hair and scalp. We choose at Hair, uh, at hair God, we recommend that you make your own for a fraction of the price and using all 100% natural ingredients, this designed perfectly for unclogging and unblocking the hair follicles. So next guys, we're gonna look at the salicylic acid peel. The second step to unclog the hair follicles is to do what's called a salicylic acid peel. Dermatologists use salicylic acid to gently peel away the layer of dead skin cells, revealing more youthful, radiant skin underneath, which is why it's often used in shampoos. Although this method is usually used just on the face, it's actually the perfect way to remove the layer of dead skin, grease, oil, DHT, dirt, and fluff that clogs and blocks the hair follicles on the scalp. Unfortunately, this layer of plaque can be responsible for hair loss or limited hair growth. It can lead to hair follicle miniaturization, hair thinning and a receding hairline, so it's well worth getting rid of. Now, here's how to do a salicylic acid peel. What you're going to need is salicylic acid and some coconut oil. What you do is you wash your hair with the shampoo outlined previously and then rinse and thoroughly towel dry. Then simply apply coconut oil to your scalp, ensuring that it's spread thoroughly. Uh, this will protect your scalp from over drying caused by the salicylic acid. Now what you wanna do is allow the coconut oil to sit for 30 minutes and then use a dropper to apply small amounts of the salicylic acid to the troublesome areas of your scalp. Simply leave it in for 10 minutes and then rinse and peel the remaining salicylic acid from the scalp. Next, we're gonna talk about how you can reduce damage by having cold showers. Excessively hot showers dry and damage the scalp. Our body has not evolved to deal with the hot temperatures most of us shower at is quite unnatural. We evolved washing ourselves in moderately temperature rivers and lakes, so don't use really hot showers on your scalp. As a result, having hot showers can damage the skin and hair follicles. Although you may think that hot water would be good at unclogging and blo unblocking the pores, it actually causes more damage than it solves. The skin will dry out, causing inflammation and dandruff, and the hair follicles will become dry and brittle, and the body will try to secrete oils to re-moisturize the scalp making the problem worse. You can still have warm showers just when you wet your hair, use mildly warm water instead of scorching hot. 
Cold showers also boost circulation in the scalp, helping to increase oxygen flow to blood vessels and making the hair follicles stronger. Next, we're gonna just have a quick touch on diet. Now, the majority of the plaque that clogs the hair follicles is caused by a poor diet. Improving your diet will help to naturally reduce the amount of plaque that builds up over time. It will also help improve the strength and growth speed of your hair. Here are a few simple pointers to help you improve your diet for better scalp condition. What we want to do is stop reducing unhealthy fats such as frying oils and greasy foods. Also, we want to eat less processed foods and eat more natural foods. Processed foods contain little to no fiber, so the digestive tract tends to get clogged up. This reduces the amount of toxins and metabolic waste that your body can get rid of through the colon. Hence, the toxins start coming out of your skin in the form of oils that block and clog the hair follicles and pores. We recommend drinking plenty of vegetable juices to help detoxify and alkalize the body. Uh, and also, we recommend eating plentiful amounts of healthy natural fats, such as those from nuts, seeds, cold water fish, and avocados. This will help keep your hair strong and healthy and provide the metabolic energy needed for hair growth. Next, we're going to just touch on essential oils. Essential oils can help to improve the quality of the scalp, resulting in better, more stronger hair growth. If you suffer from hair loss, then using essential oils can be a good way to fight it. Some of the essential oils that we recommend that you use on your scalp to unclog the pores and maintain a healthy scalp include argan oil, castor oil, emu oil, coconut oil, and evening primrose oil. And there are many more besides. And now we're going to share with you the nettle tea and bentonite clay recipe. Now, as we said in step one, we tried to avoid commercial shampoos and always make our own. Uh, we don't recommend shampooing your hair too often anyway. And if you want a quick clean to remove grease plaque toxins from the scalp, we have another method which is fast and easy and works really well too. Uh, so you're gonna stew some nettle tea. You can either use some normal nettle tea bags or even better, find some nettles outside and simmer them in water for 10 minutes. Stinging nettle has been proven to reduce inflammation and fight DHT on the scalp, which can drastically help the survival rate of your hair follicles. And then simply let the water cool down to room temperature and then stir in a teaspoon of bentonite clay. The clay is amazing and has been used for centuries for its ability to capture and remove toxins when taken internally. However, for our purposes, we'll only need it to reduce acidity on the scalp caused by sweating, absorb oils and greases and nourish the scalp with plenty of minerals. So you're going to take the nettle tea and bentonite clay mixture in a half pint glass. And inside the shower, pour it over your wet hair and massage into the scalp for three minutes. Don't be afraid to put the clay into your hair and scalp where it will work its magic. Uh, we, even rub, uh, we even recommend rubbing it over your face to unclog any dirty pores and remove oils. And your skin will probably end up feeling brighter and cleaner after. Then you're going to want to wash out the mixture thoroughly and then rinse the shower out as well. Otherwise, it's going to look like you're a really dirty person. <laughs> And next, we're going to talk about detoxing your body with lemon water. Now, there's only so much you can do to remove grease and oils from your scalp externally. If your body is producing them from the inside, then you need to fix the problem at the root cause. One of the best ways to reduce excess grease and generally clean your body from the inside out is to drink large amounts of lemon water. That's high quality water, not tap water, with a whole fresh lemon squeezed in. The ideal time to do this is when you just wake up and haven't had anything to eat. You want to make the lemon water just above body temperature and drink around a pint of it upon rising from bed. This will immediately flush your insides uh, and probably make you need the bathroom, which is a good sign it's working. The lemon water flushes through the digestive tract, removing mucus and partially digested debris. These toxins could be absorbed into your bloodstream as well. If your liver is overworked, then your body will eliminate toxins through the skin and the scalp. And lemon literally dissolves these toxins and helps to flush out safely and cleanly. Lemon also contains a multitude of minerals and nutrients which can help clean the blood and over time will leave, your, leave you with clean and glowing skin from the inside out. It also helps to alkalize the body as once it's metabolized, it leaves an alkaline forming ash and that's incredibly helpful for reducing hair loss. So guys, that's the seven steps that we wanted to share with you for removing clogged and blocked hair follicles. Don't forget that if you are worried about your hair loss, you can get your hair guard analysis by clicking the link in the description. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.